Weekly Concept Resources Essential Question How have our energy resources changed over the years? Energy Solutions the building at left has three wind turbines that help produce electricity for the building. Wind energy is one example of a renewable energy source. Oil and gas or fossil fuels are non-renewable energy sources. Once they are used up, they are gone forever. What is another example of a renewable energy source? Why is it important to develop new energy sources? Talk about it. Write words you have learned about energy resources. Talk with a partner about what you can do to help conserve energy. Vocabulary. Use the picture and the sentences to talk with a partner about each word. Coincidence. It is a coincidence that Eric bumped into his friend Tom at the fair. Consequences. The consequences of too much rain can be flooded roads and fields. Consequences. Consequences are the results of an action. Consequences. Consequences are the results of an action. Consume. This kind of car will consume less fuel because it uses less gas than a larger car. Converted. We converted the classroom into a science lab. Efficient. The efficient plumber got the job done quickly and easily. Incredible. We saw an incredible thunderstorm. Incredible. Something that is incredible is hard or impossible to believe. Incredible. Something that is incredible is hard or impossible to believe. Installed. The town installed new playground equipment in the park. Renewable. 
When my library card expired, the librarian told me it was renewable. Your turn. Pick three words. Write three questions for your partner to answer. Genre, narrative nonfiction, the great energy debate. Essential question, how have our energy resources changed over the years? Read about a classroom debate over energy resources. Our energy debate will be an incredible event, but I need to study. Our teacher won't tell us which side of the debate we'll be on until the day before it happens, which means we'll have to pre-plan arguments for both sides. The debate will be next Tuesday and will include a discussion about different energy sources. Each team will have a microphone. One team will talk about the benefits of an energy source, and the other team will talk about its drawbacks. We'll have to learn about the environmental consequences related to each resource as well as the costs. We may be asked to debate the future of gasoline as an energy source. If so, I would say that gasoline is made from oil, a fossil fuel. According to geologists, fossil fuels formed over hundreds of millions of years from ancient plant and animal remains. But here's the problem. We use these fuels far faster than it takes them to form. Because fossil fuels are non-renewable resources, if we keep using them, eventually there will be none left. Plus, burning these fuels pollutes the air. It is easy to be hypercritical of fossil fuels. However, most of our cars and factories use this type of fuel. And therefore, changing everything would be a huge undertaking. What is energy? Energy is the ability to do work or make a change. It also is a source of power for making electricity or doing mechanical work. We use the wind, the sun, fossil fuels and biofuels to produce energy. Burning coal produces heat energy that is converted into electrical energy. We use that energy to light our houses. Solar energy comes from the sun. Solar panels convert sunlight into electrical energy. If we are asked to debate the use of wind energy, we would have to know that this is a renewable energy source. For example, unlike fossil fuels, wind will never run out. One large wind turbine could produce enough energy for a whole city. In addition, this method doesn't damage the environment. Turbines can be placed all over the world to capture wind energy. Then the energy from the turbines is converted into electrical energy. But there is a drawback. Wind may not be as efficient as other energy sources. Only about 30 or 40 percent of all wind energy is changed into electricity. It would be very expensive to have wind turbines installed all over the world. This debate is important for people in the United States. Our country makes up only about 5% of the entire world's population, yet we consume about 30% of the world's energy. It is not a coincidence that students are asked to take part in these debates. We will probably have to make these decisions when we are adults. The debate will be difficult, but I will be ready. Make Connections 
How might our dependence on fossil fuels change in the future? What can you do to help save energy resources? Ask and answer questions. When you read an informational text, you may come across new information. Asking questions about the text and reading to find the answer can help you to understand new information. As you read the Great Energy Debate, ask and answer questions about the text. Find text evidence. When you first read the Great Energy Debate, you may have asked yourself. Why the narrator said on page 411 that the students had to pre-plan arguments for both sides. Our energy debate will be an incredible event, but I need to study. Our teacher won't tell us which side of the debate will be on until the day before it happens, which means we'll have to pre-plan arguments for both sides. The debate will be next Tuesday and will include a discussion about different energy sources. Each team will have a microphone. Our team will talk about the benefits of an energy source, and the other team will talk about its drawbacks. We'll have to learn about the environmental consequences related to each resource, as well as the costs. The text says the teacher wouldn't tell which side of the issue students would be debating. Therefore, I inferred that the students had to study pros and cons for each side. Your turn. Reread the Great Energy Debate to ask and answer questions of your own. As you read, remember to use the strategy "ask and answer questions." Main idea and key details. The main idea is the most important idea or point that an author makes in a paragraph or section of text. Key details give important information to support the main idea. Find text evidence. When I reread the first paragraph of the Great Energy Debate on page 412, I can identify the key details. Next, I can think about what those details have in common. Then I can figure out the main idea of the section. Graphic organizer, main idea: If we keep using fossil fuels, eventually there will be none left. Detail: Fossil fuels take hundreds of millions of years to form. Detail: We use fossil fuels faster than it takes them to form. Detail. Fossil fuels are non-renewable resources. Caption: The key details tell about the main idea. Your turn. Reread the first paragraph on page four thirteen. Find the key details and list them in your graphic organizer. Use the details to determine the main idea. Narrative nonfiction. The great energy debate is narrative nonfiction. Narrative nonfiction tells a story, presents facts and information about a topic, includes text features. Find text evidence. I can tell that the great energy debate is narrative nonfiction. It tells a story about students preparing for a debate while providing facts about energy sources. It also has text features. Text features sidebars. Sidebars provide more information to help explain the topic. Sidebars are read after the main part of the text. Your turn. Find and list two text features in the Great Energy Debate. Explain what you learn from each feature. Latin and Greek prefixes. A prefix is a word part added to the front of a word to change its meaning. Some prefixes come from Latin, such as n o n equals not, p r e equals before. Other prefixes come from Greek, such as h y p e r equals excessively. 
BIO equals life. Find text evidence. In the great energy debate, I see the word biofuels on page 412. Bio is a Greek prefix that means life. So biofuels are fuels that come from living things. We use the wind, the sun, fossil fuels, and biofuels to produce energy. Your turn. Use your knowledge of prefixes and context clues to find the meanings of the words in the Great Energy Debate. Pre-plan, page 411. Non-renewable, page 412. Hypercritical, page 412. Write about the text. I answered the question, in your opinion, is the topic of the debate an important one for people in the United States? Use text evidence to support your answer. I agree with the author that the energy debate is an important one for people in the United States. Even though our country makes up only 5% of the world's population, we use 30% of the world's energy. Those figures show that we use more than most countries. In addition, fossil fuels form over hundreds of millions of years, but we're using them much faster than that. At some point, fossil fuels will run out. We need to think more carefully about energy and how we use it. Otherwise, we may not have any energy resources left. Topic sentence. I clearly stated my opinion in the first sentence. Supporting details. I supported my opinion with facts and details. Transitions. I used in addition to connect my reasons. Grammar. This sentence has a negative. Your turn. Do you think it is better to use gasoline or wind energy? Use text evidence. 